Hi, I am excited about showing you uh, my clothes closet, showing you how I've used 5S and visual management to uh, organize my closet. I've had this um, process for my closet in place for over a year now, and it has done a great job of keeping my closet uh, organized and neat and very productive the entire time. As I've gone along, I've found a few things in it that I've needed to improve as I've run into problems, and so I've made improvements to it along the way, for, but for the most part, it stayed uh, the same. Now, I want to introduce, before I show you my closet, I want to introduce a little bit about 5S um, so that there's uh, no misconceptions. Um, most companies, when they're doing uh, 5S, are actually only doing 3S. They only do uh, sort, shine, and straighten. Um, some companies, I think, it, which is really good, just to go ahead and say, we're just doing three of the S's. We're just gonna do three S. Um, and what that requires is for them to come back periodically, some do it daily or weekly or monthly, to revisit the work area and re-straighten it or see if there's ways that they can improve it, uh, which is one way to sort of keep it, uh, keep it going, ongoing. Um, and that's kind of how most people will organize their closet. So that was the same thing I used to do uh, with my closet. Uh, so for instance, I would uh, you know, have things in my closet and then the closet would get cluttered and the shelves would be, and the racks would be full of clothes. I wouldn't be able to find what I needed. Um, and uh, you know, things that I needed would be hidden by things that, uh, that I didn't need. Uh, and so I'd spend a Saturday and a non-productive Saturday, pull everything out, uh, decide to take a bunch of stuff to Goodwill, put everything back in the closet, make it look really, really good. And uh, then I'd say, well, now I'm gonna be productive and I'll, I can just keep this the way it is. But of course, over time, uh, the process drifts, uh, the work area drifts, and uh, you end up back where you began and you've got to do it all over again. And so that's exactly what I was doing. And so I decided um, I need to really work to, uh, to create a good productive work area using 5S. So the two most difficult parts of 5S to implement for companies is standardize and sustain. Um, and I think one of the reasons why standardize and sustain are so difficult to implement is uh, because you really have to understand your process in order to be able to do this. So a lot of companies will uh, see what some other company or what some other person has done in terms of 5S and say, oh, well, I'll just implement, I'll just do my area the same way that they did theirs because theirs works for them and that seems like a good idea, I'll just do it for me. Um, and it turns out it doesn't work. And the reason is because it's not tailored to your process, to the way you actually do your day-to-day -day work. So before I show you my closet, I wanna tell you a little bit about my process because you need to understand that the way I organized my closet was to facilitate my process. And then if you were going to organize your closet, uh, you would first need to evaluate what is my process and then, um, and then tailor the organization of the closet around your process. Uh, so uh, in, my closet, in my closet, I keep clothes for a variety of different things. Um, I get my, have to dress uh, typically once or twice a day, depending on uh, what I'm doing during the day. Um, and I have clothes for work. I have clothes for uh, going out with friends, for just hanging out around the house, or for going golfing. And so uh, in my, you'll see in my work organization, I try to keep those clothes together so that the clothes that are worn together are stored together. So I'm sort of using point of view storage in uh, my closet for that. Part of my process also involves choosing what I'm going to wear. Uh, so that's something that I do on a daily basis, come in and have to decide what am I going to wear. And one of the things that I'd like to accomplish is to be able to rotate through uh, my different clothing items. And as I'm rotating through my clothing items, I need to determine what am I uh, not wearing anymore. So what clothes do I not like? Everybody's got clothes that they sort of, just sort of outgrow style-wise and are ready to move on to something else. And then I also will bring clothes into my uh, closet and I need to be able to integrate those in uh, in, a, um, in an easy uh, manner. Um, some of the clothes I'll launder myself and then put them away. Um, and so of course, when I'm putting my own clothes away, um, I can determine, okay, this is where I want to put this item. Um, there are sometimes, and I usually put my own clothes away, but there are times when my wife is kind enough uh, to take my clothes out of the laundry and then she'll say, hey, I'll put your clothes away today. And so she'll do that. So there also has to be some method for her to know where items are going without me having to, uh, to micromanage that process to where 
Um, it just happens automatically and it's obvious where those items go. Also, some of my clothes go to the cleaners um, and so when there are clothes missing out of my process, I need to know what's missing, where is it, uh, when is it going to return. So we're going to see how my closet is able to facilitate all of that. Now one of the hallmarks of uh, 5S is the use of visual management, of uh, being able to walk into a work area and visually see where everything is, uh, how it's organized to be able to understand it. Um, and so uh, we're going to start with that and I'll begin showing you some of